All right, so what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video and peep the merch. I actually got a comment saying they would actually buy my merch, but I'll do that later on when I actually get bigger on YouTube. But I have exclusive merch for myself, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you the actual way to get to 99 overall because Mike Wang and LD2K said that they, they said some interesting stuff about it, so I'll let you guys know. But before I start and get to the actual information, I am doing a 2K20 giveaway. And all you have to do to enter that is really just subscribe to my channel. And then I'll do a random generator to pick from all of my subscribers. And I will announce the winner before September 6th, only because the game comes out on September 6th. And also, if you have a Twitter, follow my Twitter right there. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and I'm gonna get straight to the point with this one. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm literally getting this information from tweets at Mike Wang and LD2K, so everything I say in this video is 100% confirmed and legit. And the first thing I really wanna talk about is actually the whole video is basically on the 99 overall system, but Road to 99 is out of the game officially. But the thing that actually like gets me hype about it is this tweet right here that Mike Wayne actually said. He said the goal for the 95 to 99 end game is to be able to level your player up equally between my career, park, program, and etc. So basically, you're not going to be forced to play one game mode like last year. We had to play my career, and that was the fastest way to get rep and all that. We don't have to do that in 2K20 to get to 99 overall. So basically, it's our personal preference. So for me, I'm a park player. I can play a lot of park, and if I play a lot of park, I can rep up easily, just as easy as playing like my career or playing pro-am. So that's a big plus that they did in 2K20 and that they're adding. So we don't have to be forced to play my career because most of us, literally most of the 2K community, uh, I wouldn't even say most, I would probably say about half of us actually play my part because it's actually one of the biggest game modes then at the same time my career there's a lot of people who play my career as well but the people who play my career don't want to play park the people who play park don't want to play my career so the fact that we can play the game mode that we love and be able to get to 99 overall just as fast as other people is this just as equally as fast that's like the best thing that they actually added in 2k20 so that's just one of the tweets i wanted to talk about right there and then also another thing is someone did end up asking mike wang is if we don't if we don't have time to grind our player and we're at 95 overall does our overall go down and honestly i don't even know what kind of question this was personally i can't see why our overall would go down but Mike Wang's response to that was fake news. Your rating doesn't drop if you don't play. And that was pretty common sense. But at the same time, for those people who, for those of you guys who didn't actually know the answer to that, that's the answer. Your overall will not go down if you don't play the game at all. So I guess that's a plus too. But like, I just thought it was common sense. And then another thing I also do want to talk about, someone did ask, do you think the average player who doesn't have a ton of time to play the game will be able to get their player to high overalls this year? 95 plus and the only reason they're saying 95 plus by the way is i'm pretty sure after you get to like 96 overall it, i think it's actually 95 between 95 and 99 overall your overall can actually drop but if you're under a 95 overall your overall will not drop that's why they keep asking certain questions between 95 and 99 overall so that's just a heads up right there but mike wang's response to this was time shouldn't be the limiting factor but skill might be if there's all if if they're always losing and putting up bad stats, they will have a hard time getting above a 96 overall. So if you play like Park or My Career, I don't know about My Career, but if you play like Park or Pro-Am and you have bad stats, then it'll be harder for you to get to a high overall, like a higher overall, like 97, 98. But between 95 and 99 overall, if you keep losing and you're like a 96 overall, you can, get, you can lower your overall basically. So if you keep losing, you could drop down to a 95 overall. So keep that in mind. And actually to correct what I said earlier, if you play my career, it actually does. If you keep losing and get bad stats, it could actually lower your overall. So you could drop an overall if that actually happens. Because another tweet on the screen right here, someone asked if you can level down in Pro-Am. And then Mike Wang's response was, you can level down in any game in any game mode. So that basically means if you have bad stats in my career, you can actually level down and get to a 95 overall. So like I said earlier in the video, between a 95 and a 99 overall, 
that's the range where you can actually level down or keep going to a, like a 98, 99 overall. But if you're like a 94 overall, you can't go any lower. Once you hit 94 overall, you only can go up higher from there. But between 95 and 99, you can go up or down. But that was just interesting as well. And then another crazy thing is someone actually responded from that tweet saying, how many games of park would you say it would take to go from 95 to 96? Now this answer actually really shocked me only because before I even show you guys the answer, it only shocked me because the amount of games you have to play to get to 95 to 96 is literally like nothing at all. So if you're like a hardcore my or if you're a hardcore my park player like poor boy Sen plays hello park and actually gets good stats, then this is the easiest thing for him and getting the 99 overall might not even be that hard this year, but who actually knows the game did not come out yet. But Mike Wang's response to this was about 10 to 15 games if you win them all. Your player performance and strength of opponent factor in as well. So if you play better players, you will get more reps. So that's basically what that meant. So if you get good stats playing like a high overall high rep player like Elite 1 or Elite 2, you will get more rep. And I think it was like that in 2K17 as well. I may be mistaken. But if you were like a Pro 1 playing like maybe like the highest rep, I forgot like if you were like a pro, if you were like a rookie playing like a pro three and 2K17, I'm pretty sure you got more rep if you actually won that game. So I guess they just added that future to 2K20. And then actually something else interesting was Chris Manning, which is LD2K, obviously, actually quoted that tweet saying the 95 to 99 system. It's all based on how you play, not just teammate grade either. So like I said, it, it depends on your stats and all that, not just the teammate grade. So you actually do have to pass the ball. You have to get rebounds. You basically have to do everything if you want to if you want to get to 95 to 96 overall as fast as 10 to 15 games. So like he said, the grade is not the only factor. And team is looking at balance between guards versus bigs, weighted system, etc. And like he said, he's excited for it. He's always excited for everything. And then he also did say, we're not grading you off teammate grade. We're using new metrics, which the only other metrics I could really think of, like I said, is stats. And that's about it. Stats and then opponent strength, which is basically if you're a rookie and you're playing like a pro three, like I said earlier, those are the only other things I could think of that can get you more rep. But at the same time, it's like we this this year, we're actually going to be forced to play better players if you want to rep up as fast. So you guys can't be running from like you can't be running from all the good players. And even if they're high rep, that does not mean they're good. That basically just means they play the game a lot in previous two K's. But this year, if you're a high rep and especially if you're a high overall, then that actually might mean that you're good only because your overall can go high or it can drop after a 95 overall. So if you're like a 98 overall and you're strict and you play a lot of park, then that could mean that you're good as hell because like I said, the more you lose and the worse, like the worse your stats are, the lower your overall will be. Uh, under it won't be under 95 but between 95 and 99 if you're stuck at a 95 that just means you keep losing part games so this year if you guys want to run from competition you can but you won't be as high as an overall most likely unless you play like my career or something like that which most of you guys actually hate so with that being said the 99 overall system this year in my opinion is actually it's actually a w because they added a lot of different stuff and at the same time this year you really like i just said you can't run from competition if you're a comp player or if you want to get to 99 overall and you just like playing park you really can't run from competition this year so if you're like when the game first comes out once you're a rookie and you see like someone you see someone being like a pro two or a pro three are you going to run away from them and you want to be a good comp player you're most likely not going to run away from them because you want to rep up as fast as you can. So this year is a big plus. The 99 overall system is it's looking really good to me. And at the same time, Road to 99 is out of the game. We don't have to do all that extra stuff that they had last year. And I think they added in 2K18 as well. So I'm just excited for what they have this year. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be doing an NBA 2K20 giveaway before September 6th. So if you guys can't afford it or something like that, you guys don't want to use your own money. At the end of the day, everybody likes getting free stuff. And the only way to get NBA 2K20 for free is subscribe to my channel. And I will be doing, I will be letting you guys know who actually wins before September 6th. Because obviously the game does come out next Friday. So like I said, if you want to be entered in that, that's all you have to do. And then after that, just be patient. 
But yeah, that's all I have for you guys with this video. So if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.